Who's there? Hello, is this 32 Maple Street, Northampton, NH71HD? Yes. So, hi, I'm Paula. I'm the district nurse. I'm looking for Elaine, sir. Um, I'm Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Um, I'm Paula. I'm one of the district nurses. So, I've been asked by your GP to come here to um, give you the vitamin D shot injection. Are you expecting me? Yes. Great. So, before I um, enter the property, can I just ensure that um, do you have any pets or children? No, I don't have any. Okay, then. So I will um, enter the um, the property and I'll make sure that I close the door to provide privacy and dignity and make sure that I don't walk in to ensure the safety as well. Okay, so Elaine, is there a, a sink or a hand gel I could use just to do my hand hygiene? Yes, you can um, use the alcohol gel or the tea bottle. Thank you. So I'll use a hand gel to do my hand hygiene using the WHO steps for hand hygiene. So palm to palm, back of the hands. Fingers interlace, fingers interlock, traditional cleaning of the thumb, fingertips, fingertips, and the air dry. So Elaine, thank you for allowing us to use your hand gel. So before I start, can I just verify if I'm with the correct uh, patient? So is it, um, can you verbalize to me your name and date of birth as I counter check it with the documentation? Yes, um, Elaine Kerr, my birthday is 3-8-1983. Can I confirm as well, Elaine, that that's correct with the documentation? Can I confirm confirm if you have any um, allergies to food drugs or latex? Uh, no, I don't have any allergies. That's also um, reflected in your documentation, so that's good. I have here your documentation, your prescription for vitamin D shot injection. Am I um, okay to read it with you? Yeah, that's fine. So I have here prescription for Elaine Kirk. Date of birth is the 3rd of the 8th, 1983. No allergies noted. So it's pres uh, this prescription is for hydroxocobalamin to be administered intramuscularly, one milligram, with batch number one, two, three, four, five. The dose is for today, the 13th of the 9th, 2023, at 10 o'clock in the morning. I can see here that uh, the uh, prescriber's signature is Dr. S. Ravi, prescribed today, the 13th of the 9th, 2023, at 9 o'clock in the morning. I can confirm that this prescription is valid, signed for, and legible. Therefore, I can give you the injection. So, Elaine, before we start as well, um, would you know the side effects for um, hydroxocobalamin? Yes, please. Can you tell me? So, some of the side effects would be pain and swelling over the injection site. And also, um, for some instances, you could have allergic reaction that could be um, itchiness, skin rash, or swelling of the face. So if this happens, you have to ring uh, 999 or uh, ring the GP as well or the um, district nurses. Okay? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So can I ask as well, because you have these medications every three months, Elaine. So wh where was the last injection site? Can you still remember? Um, I think it was uh, given on my left upper arm. Left upper arm. So now, just to be um, safe, we're just going to give it to the right upper arm just to make sure that we rotate the site because we want to ensure that the medication is absorbed uh, fully and we don't have um, tissue damage. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. So Elaine, other areas where intramuscular injection could be given apart from your upper arm would be the buttocks, the side of the hip, and central and side of your thigh. Okay? Okay. So just make sure that we rotate the side every so often just to prevent any uh, tissue damage. So, so since I've closed the door um, earlier on, so I've ensured that the privacy and dignity is ensured, uh, can, is it possible for you to just sit upright and just to expose your uh, right arm, just to um, lift your sleeves up if, if possible? Okay, I can do that. Thank you. So right, Elaine, thank you for exposing the injection site so I could see that it's visibly clean. Uh, but I will need to clean that as well with Clinical Wipes uh, later on. Uh, also, I could note that there's no presence of edema, inflammation, skin lesion, or skin infection. So since I'm quite happy to give the injection on your right upper arm, I will be preparing my equipments now for the um, intramuscular injection. Thank you. So I'm going to do my hand hygiene again. Let it air. 
All right. So after I do my hand hygiene, I will make sure that I put my PPE on, which I have with me. So I'm going to be using a disposable tray. So I have to have my sharps box, which I will ensure that it's not deep boards full. I have here my hydroxocobalamin, one milligram intramuscularly, batch number one, two, three, four, five, and it expires 10, 20, 25. So I'm happy to use this. There's no precipitate. I have here a sterile gauze in a dry impact packaging, expires 2027, February. I have here my 5 mil syringe, expires 2027 in dry and back packaging. I have here two Clinel wipes, expires 10, 2025. I have here my gauge 21 needle that expires 2025. August and another needle gauge 23 expires 2025 October dry and intact packaging and I have here my plaster dry and intact packaging expires 12 2025 so I have my equipments ready so first I need to get a Clinel wipe, open it fully, and make sure I clean the medication, top of the medication for 30 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hydroxocobalamin, one milligram, which is one mil. You dispose the sharps and get a new set of gauge twenty three needle. So, Miss Examiner, can I just verify that I have? One mil. Yes. Quite happy to use that. So now I've prepared my medication. So I'm gonna be removing my gloves. Do my hand hygiene again, and put a new set of gloves so I can clean the injection set. a new set of gloves. Hi Ali, I've got your medications ready here. So before we give the medication, can I just confirm again your name and date of birth as I counter check it with your documentation? Okay, Elaine Kirk, 3-8-1983. Okay, that's correct. So before we give the medication, I will just need to clean the injection site, okay? Okay. For 30 seconds. So I'm going to clean it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty. And let it air dry for thirty. So now, Elaine, we're gonna give the vitamin D twelve injection, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna remove the cover of the needle. I'm gonna stretch your skin 
and inject the needle in a 90 degree angle, making sure there's one centimeter left showing. And since this is one mil, I'll be giving this for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and wait for another 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rapidly we draw the needle, just pulse it. So again, I'll just put a gauze over the injection site. Make sure I just put a gentle pressure not to massage it. And then I will put the plaster. How do you feel? Um, Elaine, are you okay? I'm okay. Just making sure. So there's no more bleeding, so that's good. I'm gonna put the plaster on. So we'll just keep a note that you have your vitamin B12 injection on your right arm. So the next time, it has to be rotated on the areas I have mentioned earlier on. Okay. So we, we are done. So if you are happy, I can assist you to put back the cover um, the sleeves. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So done with the injection, so I will just dispose of my equipment. I will be here for 30 minutes just to make sure that you're alright. There's no side effects. And I will be documenting it, okay? Okay. And after that, I will be giving you the GP number, the district nurse's number, and the emergency number, which I have mentioned to you, just if in case there's any emergency. Okay? Okay. I have done for Elaine. So now I'll be documenting that I have given an intramuscular injection to my patient. So candidate B, candidate B. Alright, I have documented the injection I have given to Elaine Kirk. And I'm going to do my hand hygiene. Hi, Elaine and Sasha. So, I just wanted to make sure, um, are you okay? Is there any pain or swelling on your um, injection site? I'm um, just a little bit of pain. So, it should resolve in a few hours, but as I've said earlier on, if there's any swelling of, of the face, just you have to ring um, 999 or the GP. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. So, I have documented everything. So, I will leave the GP number and the district nurse's number and the emergency contact details. So, again, thank you for your time. And um, so, you will have your next injection after three months. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So, I'm gonna, um, just going to use the hand drill again before I leave. Thank you so much.